Hey there, space cadets. Ever look up at the night sky and feel small? It's a feeling that connects us all. A sense of wonder and curiosity about what lies beyond our tiny blue planet. Well, get ready to feel even smaller. The universe is mind-blowingly huge. Imagine, if you will, a vast expanse that stretches beyond our wildest dreams filled with mysteries waiting to be uncovered. We're talking billions of galaxies, each with billions of stars, many with their own planets. Each star could potentially host a solar system teeming with planets, moons, and maybe even life. It's enough to make your head spin faster than a black hole. These cosmic phenomena are not just beautiful, they are powerful forces that shape the universe. Think about it, our sun, a pretty average star, is just one of billions in the Milky Way. This galaxy is our home, a massive collection of stars, planets, and cosmic dust. And the Milky Way is just one of billions of galaxies. Each galaxy is a universe in itself, with its own unique properties and wonders. It's like trying to imagine all the grains of sand on all the beaches on Earth. Each grain representing a star, a planet, or even an entire galaxy. And then multiplying that by, well, infinity. The scale of the universe is beyond human comprehension, a true testament to the grandeur of creation. Now imagine us humans, venturing out into this vast cosmic ocean. Our journey into space is just beginning, and the possibilities are endless. It's a daunting thought, but also incredibly exciting. The thrill of discovery, the challenge of the unknown, and the potential for new frontiers drive us forward. We're already taking baby steps, setting our sights on our closest neighbors, the Moon and Mars. These missions are the first steps in a long journey of exploration and colonization. So buckle up, space explorers. The road ahead is filled with challenges, but also with incredible opportunities. We're about to embark on a journey to explore the challenges and possibilities of colonizing these celestial bodies. Imagine living on the moon, building a habitat on Mars. Get ready for a mind-blowing adventure. The universe is vast, and our journey has just begun. Together, we'll explore the wonders of space and unlock the secrets of the cosmos. Let's start with the moon, our loyal companion in the night sky. It's close, just a hop, skip, and a rocket launch away. We've already set foot there, so we know it's possible. Plus, the moon offers a great platform for scientific research and maybe even space tourism someday. Now, onto Mars, the red planet. It's farther away, sure, but it also holds more promise for long-term habitation. Mars has a thin atmosphere, evidence of past water, and a day-night cycle similar to Earth's. Sounds promising, right? But hold your spacesuits, folks. Before we pack our bags for the Moon or Mars, there are some serious challenges to consider. We're talking extreme temperatures, radiation, and the small matter of, you know, breathing. Don't worry, we'll delve into those challenges next. After all, what's an adventure without a few obstacles to overcome? Stay tuned. Space is harsh, unforgiving, and doesn't really want us there. The vacuum of space is a silent, cold expanse that presents numerous challenges to human survival. But hey, we humans love a good challenge. First up, temperature swings. The extremes in space are unlike anything we experience on Earth. On the moon, we're talking scorching days of 250 degrees Fahrenheit, 121 degrees Celsius. Imagine trying to work in such intense heat and frigid nights of minus 208 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 133 degrees Celsius. The cold is so severe it could freeze equipment and make it brittle. Mars is a bit more hospitable, but still chilly. The red planet has its own set of temperature challenges. With temperatures ranging from minus 200 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 129 degrees Celsius, during the night, to a balmy 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 21 degrees Celsius, during the day. These fluctuations can be tough on both humans and machinery. Next, let's talk radiation. Space is filled with high energy particles that can be harmful. Earth's magnetic field protects us from harmful radiation from the sun, acting like a giant shield. But the moon and Mars lack that luxury. Without proper shielding, our DNA could get scrambled faster than you can say solar flare. Prolonged exposure can lead to serious health issues. And then there's the air, or lack thereof. Breathing in space is not as simple as it sounds. Mars have extremely thin atmospheres unsuitable for breathing, composed mostly of carbon dioxide. The Moon has only an exosphere, the outermost layer of its atmosphere, made up of widely scattered atoms and molecules. This exosphere is extremely thin, 
with a density billions of times lower than Earth's atmosphere at sea level. Its composition is unique, primarily consisting of elements like helium, neon, and argon, sourced from the solar wind and meteor strikes. We'd need pressurized habitats and spacesuits just to step outside. These suits are our lifeline, providing oxygen and maintaining pressure. Talk about a bad hair day. Imagine dealing with helmet hair and fogged up visors while trying to perform complex tasks. But don't despair. Human ingenuity knows no bounds. Brilliant minds are already working on solutions to these challenges. From radiation-resistant habitats that can shield us from harmful rays, to innovative life support systems that can recycle air and water, ensuring we have the essentials for survival. We're finding ways to make our spacefaring dreams a reality. The future of space exploration is bright, and with each challenge we overcome, we get one step closer to becoming a multi-planetary species. So, while space may be harsh and unforgiving, it also offers endless possibilities for those brave enough to venture into the unknown. The journey is just beginning, and the stars are waiting for us. Section 4. Building a New Home Colonization Strategies Okay, so we know space is tough, but we're tougher. Humanity has always been driven by the desire to explore and conquer new frontiers. From crossing oceans to climbing the highest mountains, our spirit of adventure knows no bounds. Now, our sights are set on the ultimate frontier, space. Let's talk about how we'd actually colonize the Moon and Mars. These celestial bodies present unique challenges and opportunities for human settlement. The Moon, being our closest neighbor, is a logical first step. Mars, with its potential for terraforming, offers a more long-term vision for human habitation. First, we need to get there. Reusable rockets, like SpaceX's Starship, are game changers, making space travel more affordable and accessible. These rockets can be launched, landed, and relaunched multiple times, significantly reducing the cost of each mission. This technology is crucial for establishing a sustainable presence in space. Think of it like upgrading from a horse-drawn carriage to a supersonic jet. The advancements in space travel technology are akin to the leaps we've made in transportation on Earth. Just as the jet age revolutionized air travel, reusable rockets are set to revolutionize space travel. Once we land, we need a place to live. Building habitats on the Moon and Mars will require innovative construction techniques and materials. These habitats must be able to withstand extreme temperatures, radiation, and the vacuum of space. On the Moon, we could build underground habitats to shield from radiation and meteoroids. These subterranean structures would provide a safe and stable environment for astronauts to live and work. The Moon's regolith, or surface material, could be used to construct these habitats, reducing the need to transport building materials from Earth. Imagine lunar cities beneath the surface complete with gardens, schools, and maybe even a Moon-themed amusement park. These cities would be self-sustaining, with systems in place to recycle air, water, and waste. The Moon's low gravity could also open up new possibilities for recreation and sports. Mars offers more options. We could build on the surface, eventually terraforming the planet to make it more Earth-like. This process would involve altering the Martian atmosphere to increase its temperature and pressure, making it possible for liquid water to exist on the surface. Imagine vast Martian cities with breathable air, flowing water, and maybe even a Martian pizza delivery service. These cities would be designed to support large populations with infrastructure for transportation, communication, and commerce. The unique environment of Mars could also inspire new forms of architecture and urban planning. But building a new home on another planet requires careful planning and resource management. Every aspect of life in space must be meticulously planned and managed, from the food we eat to the air we breathe. This will require collaboration between scientists, engineers, and policymakers from around the world. We need to develop sustainable ways to generate energy, produce food, and recycle water. Solar power will likely be the primary source of energy, with advanced farming techniques used to grow food in controlled environments. Water recycling systems will be essential to ensure a continuous supply of clean water. It's like camping, but on a much grander scale. Just as campers must be self-sufficient and resourceful, so too must space colonists. The challenges are immense, but so are the rewards. By pushing the boundaries of what is possible, we can create a new home for humanity among the stars. Moon versus Mars, a cosmic showdown. So which celestial body is the better candidate for colonization? It's a tough call, like choosing between pizza and tacos. The moon is closer, making travel faster and easier. 
It also boasts abundant solar energy and potential water ice deposits at its poles. Mars, however, holds more promise for long-term sustainability. Its day-night cycle and gravity are closer to Earth's, and it has more resources, including potential for terraforming. Ultimately, the choice might not be an either-or scenario. We could see a future where humans have a presence on both the Moon and Mars, each serving different purposes. The Moon could be a stepping stone, a proving ground for technologies and strategies before we tackle the Martian frontier. No matter which path we choose, one thing's for sure. Colonizing another world will be humanity's greatest adventure yet. Section 6. The Future of Humanity Among the Stars As we stand on the cusp of this incredible journey, one thing is clear. The future of humanity lies among the stars. Colonizing the Moon and Mars is just the beginning. These outposts will serve as stepping stones to even more ambitious endeavors, pushing the boundaries of human exploration and ingenuity. Imagine a future where humanity becomes a multi-planetary species, with bustling colonies on distant worlds. Imagine generations born on Mars, gazing up at a rusty red sky, their home a testament to the indomitable spirit of exploration. But this future is not guaranteed. It requires us to embrace the spirit of discovery, to push the limits of science and technology, and to work together as a species to overcome the challenges ahead. So what are you waiting for? The universe is calling. Explore, discover, and let your imagination soar among the stars. The future of humanity is out there waiting to be written. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. Don't worry, it won't launch a rocket. Your support helps us bring you more mind-blowing facts about the universe. See you in the next video. Keep exploring.